learn how to install Game Labs. If you're like me, you tried installing this on your CF Tools uh, server and you were unsuccessful in getting it to work properly. You came here to the tutorial and you're still having trouble getting it to work. So this is a quick short video to get you to learn how to to install. Uh, you're going to have to have a subscription. Uh, the very basic all the way to the premium version works fine. If you go here, you can see the free version doesn't, it has limited. If you go into here for the API access, it's limited. So I'm not sure if this works with the free version, but I personally have the advanced um, version of this. So I, I have all the full features on this, but I will only be talking about this API access with the Game Labs integration for this tutorial. So in order to get started, you need to install this mod into your server. So I currently use Host Havoc and I went ahead and install the Game Labs mod here from the workshop. And I added the key to the keys folder as you typically do. And then I went ahead and added it to my command line here of the Game Labs, right? So you need those three things set up um, at a minimum. You know, that's typical with every single mod that you install, you have to do those three things, right? So those are generic. I'm not gonna go over that in detail. But the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a gamelabs.cfg file. And in the instructions here, it says to go ahead and put it in your profiles directory. Um, and then you're going to add this code in there. CFG file, if you have a host havoc uh, server, needs to be in this host havoc daisy server folder. Um, you go in here and then you go to users and you go to server and it's right here, gamelabs.cfg. Now, a couple of things uh, between the default code and what I have for my server is that one, I have this set to zero because this one means that it will automatically verify its access credentials and shut down the server if API is unreachable. Since Game Labs, to me personally, it may be different for you, but for me personally, is a nice to have feature. It's not a must have on the server. So if it cannot talk to the API key, I don't want the server to shut down. I still want my players to enjoy the server. So I am personally setting this to zero. And then the next two things that I'm changing is the sanitize, battle eye, join leave, and prefix. So what those mean is the join leave messages of battle eye, um, those will get pretty much cleared out so your server doesn't get flooded with that, and it won't have the battle eye message prefix showing as well. Um, so for those, I'm going to go ahead and set those to one. Set those to one. Set that to one. And then the next thing you're going to want to do, if you notice here, it says server ID and API key. And this is probably the hardest part for a lot of folks um, that I've noticed in the comment sections or that were um, trying to get it to work and cannot get it to work, right? So um, to, in order to find server ID and API key, you got to go back to server, the CF Tools version. You go to Manage here and you go to Settings. And here you get your API key and your server ID. So I'm just going to copy that. And if you, and it's already pasted in here. And then API key is just right here. And you can copy that. Um, once you have that in, you can hit save and exit. And then the next thing would be to actually start your server. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit start. You see that I'm here. I have a hundred HP and I have an AUG in my hand. And I can teleport myself somewhere if I choose to do so. So T3058908. Let's just take a screen capture of that. I 
so I see in game I got teleported. It'll take a minute here to show me where I got teleported to. There you go, right there. So you see how I moved. So yeah. So you can do all of that with the game labs integration. Pretty cool. Enjoy.